você vai viver a sua vida e como você deseja ser lembrado e conhecido, quem você quer ser. Acredito que nós podemos te ajudar. Aqui, você vai aprender inglês e francês, e vai aprender como fazer o seu currículo, ou resume, e fazer a sua carta de apresentação ou cover letter, e conseguir o seu trabalho no Canadá. Mexa-se e deixe a sua marca na vida, e seja lembrado e conhecido. You know who you are, and where you are. Make sure you follow the right steps, to achieve your dreams in your life. We are going to help you now. Here, you are going to learn how to have a decent conversation with people around you, in your working place, and get your new job. In this video, you will learn little by little these new things. Don't need to rush yourself. What is an adjective? An adjective is one of the nine parts of speech. An adjective is a word that tells us more about a noun. It describes or modifies a noun, the big dog was hungry. In these examples, the adjective is in bold, and the noun that it modifies is in italics. An adjective often comes before a noun. A green car, a dark sky, an interesting story, and sometimes an adjective comes after a verb. My car is green. The sky became dark. His story seemed interesting. But adjectives can also modify pronouns, she is beautiful. Look at these examples. They were empty. I thought it seemed strange. Those are not expensive. Note that we can often use two or more adjectives together, a beautiful young French lady it is black and white. The adjective is the enemy of the noun this is sometimes said, because, very often, if we use the precise noun we don't need an adjective. For example, instead of saying a large impressive house, two adjectives plus one noun, we could simply say a mansion, one noun. Adjective forms some adjectives have particular endings, for example, ableible, washable, credible-ish like, childish, childlike fall less, careful, careless house, dangerous, harmonious why, dirty, pretty however, many adjectives have no obvious form. Comparative, superlative most adjectives can be comparative or superlative, for example, big, bigger, biggest good, better, best beautiful, more beautiful, most beautiful. Tell us what you think. We want to read what you have in mind. This way, we can adjust our videos to put some light on your doubts. And now, let's go back to our video. Before you have the other part of this video, hit the like button and subscribe yourself. By doing this more people will be helped and you will see more videos like this. Don't be naive. Now, let's keep moving. Comparative adjectives. When we talk about two things, we can compare them. We can see if they are the same or different. Perhaps they are the same in some ways and different in other ways. We can use comparative adjectives to describe the differences. We use comparative adjectives when talking about two things, not three or more things. In the example below, bigger is the comparative form of the adjective big, A1, A2, A1 is bigger than A2. Formation of comparative adjectives, there are two ways to make or to form a comparative adjective, short adjectives, at er, long adjectives, use more, short adjectives, at er examples, one syllable adjectives old, fast, two syllable adjectives ending in y happy, easy, rule, at er old older, variation, if the adjective ends in e, just at er late later, variation, if the adjective ends in consonant, vowel, consonant, double the last consonant big bigger, variation, if the adjective ends in y, change the wide eye happy happier long adjectives use more examples two syllable adjectives not ending in y modern pleasant all adjectives of three or more syllables expensive intellectual rule use more modern more modern expensive more expensive with some two syllable adjectives we can use er or more quiet quiet or more quiet clever clever or more clever narrow narrow or more narrow simple simple or more simple exception the following adjectives have irregular forms good better well healthy better bad worse far farther further use of comparative adjectives we use comparative adjectives when talking about two things not three or ten or one million things only two things Often, the comparative adjective is followed by than. Look at these examples, John is 1m80. He is tall. But Chris is 1m85. He is taller than John. America is big. But Russia is bigger. 
I want to have a more powerful computer. Is French more difficult than English? If we talk about the two planets Earth and Mars, we can compare them as shown in the table below. Earth Mars, diameter, kilometers, 12,766,790. ,700 Mars is smaller than Earth. Distance from Sun, million kilometers, 15228. Mars is more distant from the Sunday, length of day, hours, 2425. A day on Mars is slightly longer than a day on Earth. Moons 1 2, Mars has more moons than Earth. Surface temperature, degrees Celsius, 22 minus 23, Mars is colder than Earth. Although we use comparative adjectives when talking about two things, not three or more things, in fact one or both of the things may be a group of things. Mount Everest is higher than all other mountains. Here, we are talking about hundreds of mountains, but we are still comparing one thing, Mount Everest, to one other thing, all other mountains. Just hit the subscribe button and like this video. This is going to help us to send you the other videos. You are not going to pay a cent for this. It is free. Thank you. Now let's go back to our video. Superlative adjectives. A superlative adjective expresses the extreme or highest degree of a quality. We use a superlative adjective to describe the extreme quality of one thing in a group of things. We can use superlative adjectives when talking about three or more things, not two things. In the example below, biggest is the superlative form of the adjective big, a bc, a is the biggest. Formation of superlative adjectives, as with comparative adjectives, there are two ways to form a superlative adjective, short adjectives, at est, long adjectives, use most, we also usually add the at the beginning. Short adjectives, one syllable adjectives old, fast, two syllable adjectives ending in y happy, easy, rule, at est old the oldest, variation, if the adjective ends in e, just at st late the latest, variation, if the adjective ends in consonant, vowel, consonant, double the last consonant big the biggest, variation, if the adjective ends in y, change the y die happy the happiest, long adjectives, two syllable adjectives not ending in y modern, pleasant, all adjectives of three or more syllables expensive, intellectual, rule, use most modern the most modern, expensive the most expensive, with some two syllable adjectives, we can use est or most, quiet the quietest most quiet, clever the cleverest most clever, narrow the narrowest most narrow, simple the simplest most simple, exception, the following adjectives have irregular forms, good the best, bad the worst, far the farthest furthest, use of superlative adjectives, we use a superlative adjective to describe one thing in a group of three or more things. Look at these examples, John is 1m75, David is 1m80, Chris is 1m85, Chris is the tallest, Canada, China, and Russia are big countries, but Russia is the biggest, Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world. If we talk about the three planets Earth, Mars, and Jupiter, we can use superlative adjectives as shown in the table below. Earth, Mars, Jupiter, diameter, kilometers, 12,766,791, 142,800. ,000 Jupiter is the biggest. Distance from Sun, million kilometers, 152,728,778. ,000 ,000 Jupiter is the most distant from the Sunday, length of day hours 24 25 10 jupiter has the shortest day moons 1 2 16 jupiter has the most moons surfaced emp degrees celsius 22 minus 23 minus 150 jupiter is the coldest when we compare one thing with itself we do not use the england is coldest in winter not the coldest my boss is most generous when we get a big order not the most generous Hit the like and subscribe buttons then you can help us to spread these words to more people. Help us to bring these words to your future Canadian friends. Now, let's see what else we have here. Tell us which one you feel is better for you. Don't worry, we will do the adjustments. To pronounce beautiful sound you have to pay attention to the sounds of vowels and consonants. You will want to sound the vowels vibrating your mouth and nose cavities and the consonants, posing a stop. At the end of the words, you want to faint the sounds. At the beginning of words, you will, usually, strengthen the sound of the syllable. Hear and imitate the sounds of these extracts as many times as you feel comfortable. 
Now that you have all of these, go to practice and create your own conversation. Go in the description to find our link and go deeper into your study to reach your dreams. Thank you very much for watching this video and be in touch with us. Keep up there and write your story. I'll see you at the next one. Take care. Bye for now.